Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're tuning in for the first time, welcome along, my name's Glenn. Okay, so just on my break, um, been out since four o'clock this morning. Done an early uh, run to Chester, uh, not long been back. Just had a quick McDonald's breakfast. I was absolutely starving when I came off for the uh, for my break. And I was dying for a coffee, so I uh, thought I'd treat myself right into McDonald's. Had a lovely breakfast. Got to be a sausage and egg McMuffin meal, hasn't it? Extra hash browns. So yeah, full up now. Um, just gonna do a little walk along the prom there. You can just see in the background behind me the uh, demolition works going on with the uh, the old um, the old shops and the, what was it? The it was old uh, fish and chip shop, I think, was there. But it's all got to go because of this uh, sea defence works that's going on. So yeah, sad really, but uh, this is what's happening these days. It's going on right along the coast, flood defence work. There's nothing we can do about it. So uh, yeah, there you go. Let's go for a little walk. There you go guys, it's all going on. There's a life boat out down there, just getting a little washed down. Still got mountains of sand all over the promenade. Lots of drifting sand. I say I came out this morning at uh, standard leave at about half four. It's up at ten to four. It's the time my alarm went off this morning. Quite frosty. It was uh, zero degrees when I got in the car. But luckily I put the uh, cover on the windscreen last night, so that saved me a job this morning. Straight in the car and off. Can't be doing with scraping windscreens at that time of the morning. About nine degrees at the moment, still cool. And we have been promised some snow, I believe, next week. What's the weather like where you are, where you're watching from? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you all. doing it's been doing right along a, a massive trench and then they start filling it with the rocks So it's the first video I've done since uh, I think New Year's Day was the last one when we went down the beach with the dog. Uh, it's not been a great start to the year to be fair. Uh, one thing and another. We uh, woke up the other morning to water coming through the bathroom ceiling. Uh, boilers in the loft. 
and uh, that had sprung the leak overnight. Uh, yeah, so that wasn't good. One of the two other things that have been going on, it's been manic. Hope the rest of the year is not going to be the same. <laughs> yeah, so the boiler, that's sorted now, but we've still got water leaking through. I think all the uh, insulation has been soaked and like a big sponge, it's still dripping through the bathroom ceiling, so yeah, it's a nightmare. Turn the camera around and show you this big sand drift. Yeah, size of that. Still ongoing with the dog training. Tony from uh, Optimus Canine, um, he's been doing uh, training with us, fantastic. Great guy. Our Cole absolutely loves him. He's been taking him out for us and uh, training us as well. So yeah, he's coming on great. Yeah, so there's life out getting a little washed down. Hopefully not going to be called upon. people out and about with the dogs. extension of the beach. So it won't be long I suppose for the uh, season kicks off again. Is it March? Beginning of March I think the camps start to open up again. Have a market that will open up. Initially, I think it just opens on Saturdays, then it'll be open Saturdays and Sundays as we get more towards Easter. Surprise how fast it comes around. I'm just starting my walk back towards the bus station now because uh, still got a couple of hours to do. I'll be finished at around half one today. Don't forget to hit the uh, like button for me guys as well, subscribe if you're not already, plenty coming up in the, uh, well throughout this year, I've um, got lots planned, stuff that I wanted to do last year but weather wise didn't get round to it. Lots of local stuff, be going abroad as well, so watch out for them.
should have your work in sync with each other. Massive hole that is. Stand there all day, me and what's that? So, just outside the Sea Aquarium now, uh, and for anyone who doesn't know, it's, uh, it has been actually closed down now. All the uh, sea animals have been rehomed uh, due to all the works that's been going on just on the seafront there that we've been just, just been looking at. Uh, it was about uh, two months ago, I did put a post on. Saying that it just closed down suddenly because of the, uh, the amount of noise generated by the machinery right outside the uh, Sea Life Centre there on the prom. It's uh, causing a lot of trouble for the animals. Uh, apparently they're really distressed. So the, uh, they had no alternative but to close the place down. Uh, as far as I know the animals have been uh, sent out to zoos in the area. That's where they're now living. Sadly, so that's a major attraction gone from real. Sad to see. You never know, maybe one day when all the works are completed, they could open it up again. Who knows? Whether that'd be possible, I don't know. Okay, so watch this space, I suppose. Guys, yeah, so I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, gotta run down the bus station now. Gonna take over this bus, give the last couple of hours done. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already, and uh, watch out for the upcoming videos. Got plenty planned, so don't go anywhere. I'll see you soon. Goodbye for now.